So we had a segment, a little break in the show, uh, but a good segment for the uh, local audience where they introduced us in the ring to four wrestlers from the tryouts that WWE held in Saudi Arabia. Uh, these, uh, the names were, uh, Nasser, Hussein, Mansoor, and Faisal. And they were in the ring cutting, you know, brief, I say cutting promos. I mean, they had a little bit of mic time, each guy did. When all of a sudden they were interrupted by the Davari brothers, Arya Davari from 205 Live and Sean Davari, who we have not seen in WWE in many years, going back all the way, of course, to when he, uh, debuted as part of the package with Muhammad Hassan. And Davari far outlasted Hassan in, in WWE, but that's really, I think, the role he's most well known for. That, and I think uh, subduing a uh, a miscreant on the uh, New York City subway once. So the Davari brothers come out; they're waving the Iranian flag, which is a big no-no over there in Saudi Arabia. And so that got mega heat. And uh, Arya cut a promo on all four guys, and he was calling them wannabes. And then, you know, Sean Davari got on the mic and he got shoved on his ass. And I think it was Hussein hit a power slam on, uh, on Sean. You know, so each guy took turns getting their licks in. And, you know, the crowd was really up and down for most of the show. And I saw a lot of complaints also about, oh, this crowd sucks. This crowd is dead. I, I It was in parts, and maybe it was because I was watching with a few other people. So I wasn't, you know, glued to the TV listening to every pin drop in the freaking building. So to me, it didn't really come across as, as a, any more of a dead crowd than you would find on a typical Monday Night Raw. And they actually came very much alive during certain parts of the show. This was the one part of the show where they just came alive more than anything else. Uh, they ate this thing up. They booed the hell out of the Davaris with the whole Iranian thing. And then they went nuts for these four guys uh, when you know they each had their time to shine. And I thought it was really smart of them to include this segment in the show because not only did it get the biggest reaction of anything on the entire show, but it made those four guys look like stars. Uh, so, I mean, if they did a segment like that in this country, and we've seen stuff like this before, they used to trot out the tough enough guys sometimes, you know, and they would usually try to keep like Steve Austin in the ring with them to make sure people didn't boo them. But if they did a segment like that in this country, if they didn't get booed out of the building, they would have been heckled with what chance on the mic. It was actually nice for a change to not have some of the dumb chants in the beach balls. 